for our segment is Hold Your Tongue. I don't know if you know this, I'm sure you do, because you probably had a teacher like this in school who just talked and talked and talked. Talking too much can absolutely kill your lesson. And so what you want to do is you want to avoid lecturing while kids listen. Instead, you want to direct their learning with a few well-placed questions. For example, if you're going to be talking to them about Jesus healing the blind man, you're not going to go through the whole story and telling them every detail that you know without asking them questions. You may ask them to cover their eyes for a little while, talk about what it feels like not to be able to see anything. Maybe ask them what they think uh, the blind man's life was like, you know, before he met Jesus. What would it be like if you couldn't see anything? Those kinds of things. Um, you also want to encourage the kids not to just talk to you, but to talk to each other. So for instance, let's say that Jimmy has just suggested that it might be really lonely to be a blind person because you couldn't travel around and meet people. You probably wouldn't have a lot of friends that would come and visit you. Then you could say, hey Susie, what do you think about that? Jimmy just said he thought it might be kind of lonely to be a blind person. What do you think it would be like? And maybe you start a little conversation between the two of them instead of just having them talk to you all the time. Another thing that you want to do is you want to keep your transition smooth as you move from activity to activity in your lesson. So say, for example, you decided to use blindfolds for the kids um, at the beginning of the lesson so they could kind of experience what it would be like to be blind. Well, after you take the blindfolds off, just take a minute to explain to them why they did that. You know, today we're actually going to be talking about a person who couldn't see. How did it feel when you had those blindfolds on? And that'll kind of launch you into talking about Jesus and the blind man. So really kind of tie together all of your different activities to make it understandable for the kids. But again, keep it short. And then finally, you know, you probably know a lot about a lot of Bible stories. But you do not have to share your enormous storehouse of knowledge with them every single Bible lesson. Kind of keep it short. Keep it simple and understand, you know, especially with younger kids, you're just sort of laying the groundwork here for them. They'll probably hear some of these stories many times and they'll add layers of depth and meaning to it as they get older. But, you know, you don't have to tell them every single thing that you know about each story in order for it to be really effective still and for it to reach their hearts. So again, hold that tongue. It'll be really effective in reaching kids. And that's your latest tip for raising kids in Christ. Uh -huh.